Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another Moralis tutorial video. Today, we are going to check the new premium endpoints for the Moralis API, the Market Data API. These endpoints will allow us to explore the latest trends in NFT collections, keep an eye on the top coins, and monitor the largest ERC20 gainers and losers. So, we have a different endpoint for each one of these. So, for example, if we give a look to the ERC20 top movers, we are going to have this information about how we can implement this using different programming languages. And also here you are going to see all the information we are going to get as response, such as the rank, the token name, the token symbol, the logo, the decimals, the contract address, the price in USD, the price change in the last 24 hours or 7 days, and also the market cap in USD. As I told you, these are premium endpoints, so for this you are going to need a Morales Pro plan. Remember that the free plan is really good for testing purposes or small applications, but if you are really considering going to production, Morales plans, Morales Pro plans are the best way to go. And also remember, if you are working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level. So, in this tutorial, at the end of the day, we are going to have something like this. This is a simple front-end page on which I have four different buttons for each one of these endpoints. So for example, if I click on get the top ERC20 tokens by market cap, I'm going to get the information of that. The first one is WEAT, the contract address, the market cap, and the price. And I'm just showing up some information over here, but remember, you can always check the API reference and get more information out of this. So I also can get the top ERC20 tokens by price, I also can get the top ERC20 tokens by price change. The first one is the noise GPT. And we have more over here, including the market cap and the price change in the last 24 hours. The top NFT collections by market cap. Some of those doesn't have an image, but some of those actually do. You can have here the floor price, the volume in USD, the volume change, etc. And finally, of course, we can get the hottest NFT collections by trading volume. And of course, we are going to get all of this information. So in today's tutorial, we are going to be using a simple flag server to connect to the Morales API endpoints and then consuming that on the front end and showing up just the information we want. So let's get started. Here on my Visual Studio code, I have a really simple flask server with just the important information, including the API key. This is the API key we are going to get from Morales. And I'm going to store that API key on this .m file over here, because remember, storing your API keys into your code is a bad practice. So to get your API key, go to your Morales admin panel, select your project, go to your settings, and here you are going to have the new format we are using for the APIs. We have the legacy API key and the new ones we are providing with better security. So let's copy this one. Remember, this is a premium endpoint, so please first check our pro plans. And let's paste it over here on the code. Once you have it, we can go back to the flag server. And here, let's create a new endpoint. For that, let's get started creating a new route going to be called top tokens then let's define the function now i'm going to say result is going to be equal to something and to know exactly what i have to use well we can go back to the api reference select the language we need in this case python and as you can see here the api call is actually really really simple so i'm just i can just copy this Control c go back to the code paste that over here, let's change the indentation. And instead of printing the result, let's return this on a JSON format. And as you can see here, the actual API endpoint does not require any input parameter and is really, really simple to use. So once we have our API key installed and the road declared on our Flask server. To test this out, let's go to the terminal, run the server with python app.py, 
this is going to give us the IP address we need to use. Let's copy this. Let's open Postman to test this out. Let's send a request. And as you can see here, we are going to get a response with all those tokens. For example, we have the contract address, the market cap, the price change on the last 24 hours on seven days, the price on USD, which is the rank, the token decimals, the logo. You can always check on your web browser, also the token symbol and the same for all of those. So once we know this is working properly, let's add the rest of the endpoints. So the process is going to be exactly the same. We just have to go to the API reference over here, select the endpoint, copy the endpoint link. On this case, top ERC 20 tokens by price movers. The same is going to be for the NFT collections by market cap and so on and create an endpoint for each one of them. So let's do that. The second endpoint is going to be called top token change. It's going to use that endpoint and it's going to return the same result into a JSON format. And as this is a re repetitive process, I'm just going to add those manually over here, save this. And as easy as that, we have the four endpoints. Now, using the front end, we just have to call these endpoints and this should work properly. In any case, if we want to get, for example, the dot NFTs, we can just copy this, go back again to Postman, paste it over here, send a request, and we are going to have different information. In this case, the collection image, the connection title, the image is going to give us something like this, the market cap, also the rank, and the percentage of change in the last 24 hours. So on the front end page, as you know, we have these four buttons, but on the template, we don't have anything working yet. And to connect to the Flash server, this is going to be really, really easy. So here on the front end file, we are going to use the Axios library to connect to that endpoint. As you see, I have a variable here called ERC top tokens, which is using this use state functionality of React. And now let's create a new function, const get top ERC tokens. This is going to be an asynchronous functionality, which is going to use Axios. So I wait Axios dot get. This is going to ask for the endpoint. In this case, we are going to connect to the local host in the port 5002 and the endpoint get tokens. And this is it. This is all we need to do because once we get the response from this, we have to decide what we are going to do with that information. For now, let's just console.log the result. And of course, because we always like to have good practices, let's add a catch statement if something goes wrong. Inside of the response, let's say that I want to console.log the response.data. And also here, let's console.log the error. So let's test this out. This get top ERC tokens is already connected with the button I have here, the first one, get top ERC tokens. So this should work properly. Let's go back to the page, open the console, click on the button. And as you can see here, we have this JSON response. I'm going to make bigger. If we click this, we are going to have this big array of elements. So let's, for example, select the first one. And here we are going to have the same information we get on this API reference with all the information we need. So we can just take this and show up the most important information we might use on our web page. As this is an example, I just created over here a variable called rendered top tokens, which is going to loop through all the response and is going to take the symbol, the contract address, the market cap and the price. So here on the endpoint, instead of just consoling.log, let's use that set ERC top tokens using the response.data. Let's save this and now let's try it again. Let's click here on the get ERC tokens by market cap. And this is going to render a card as same as I show you at the beginning of the video. So what's the process for the rest of the endpoints? Well, it's going to be exactly the same. As we already have a connection for the top tokens, we can basically just create another function. For example, the get top ERC 20 tokens change and use it on the second button, for example. 
and the same is going to go for the rest of the code. So I'm going to just skip to that part. So as you can see here, I added two more functions to connect to those different endpoints, also created more state variables for React, and of course I have different variables, the same as I did with the render top tokens, I have here these ones which is going to render the top tokens change, and again I'm selecting the most important information. Now we have the complete functionality, so basically we are going to have the same as I showed you at the beginning of the video. The ability to use these for endpoints and get the most important information out of each one of them. So now you can use this as a template, as a reference on how to implement the market API into your projects. Now, this is really good for basic analysis or if you want to create your own statistics. But if you want to get information of the latest token trends on the market, don't forget to check out Morales Money which is going to highlight the latest coins on the market and also any other highlight of the tokens. For example, if I use this pre-made filter, I'm going to get the top coins by buyers on the last month. And here we have a lot of very useful information. And so now you know how to use the market data API to use it on your own web page or project and also you have Morales Money which is the best way for you to make best decisions as trader because we have the most reliable updated information on what's happening live on the market. And that was it for today's tutorial, don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo so check out the link on the description and as you are already here click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end, and see you on the next occasion.